Shamanic Mysteries of the Dark Feminine Welcome back to another episode of Wild Feminine Magic. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the video. The Dark Feminine often takes the form of an old woman, wrapped in a black cape or shawl. Sometimes she takes the form of a magical raven announcing death, or the owl shrieking in the night. She descends at night, like lightning and her voice leads you into the mysteries. Come with me, she says. Death is only the beginning on the pathway of the soul. She is the pathway through the vast labyrinth of pathways and mirrors, she can guide the soul as she chooses. In Avalon, she can part the mist to the other world. As the Morrigan she is storm clouds and thunder, the hag screaming for the dead. As Lilith, she is the primal feminine energy, pure, raw, wild and free. The dark feminine sees death as initiation. Death of one form to another. Without her energy, we cannot know the soul's secrets of alchemy and transformation. And so the dark goddess carries us into her black cave to rebirth our soul. Most people fear the presence of the dark feminine because her presence foretells death, change, growth and renewal. She is the doorway, a portal of laying karmas to rest, ending a phase of life, ending an identity or transmuting fears and complexes. She is the process of purification and cleansing. Death. But it is only the beginning of a new life. As a seer and teacher of mages, she is the bird goddess who sees all. Owls too have been used as a way to see through the dark as the crone sees all. As a teacher, she presides over initiations. Initiation is the simulation of death, and new life. In the initiatory process, it is the death of the soul and one must experience disintegration before reintegration. Initiations transform people and are sometimes painful but they bring them to the awareness of deeper layers of vision, intuition and authentic soul self. As black goddess of initiation, some choose to enter her cave and cauldron, to gain the wisdom that is there. It is a dangerous path, for there is a chance of destruction of the old self and old life. But the black goddess has wisdom of the pathways of life and death, and from the dark cauldron of human fears and needs, and from the process of transformation itself, comes the light of wisdom. In descending to the underworld, we are seeking something valuable in the underworld. There's even a word for this experience, thonic, concerning, belonging to, or inhabiting the underworld. Thonic, of or relating to earth, particularly the underworld. Thonic figures in Greek mythology included Hades and Persephone, the rulers of the underworld, and the various goddesses venerated for the mysteries of death and rebirth. When Inanna enters she learns the integrative process of shedding and regenerating and becomes initiated into this oracular wisdom by her dark sister. When Kor is abducted by Pluto into Hades, she learns of her personal power and sovereignty. Each deity must sacrifice an earlier version of themselves, Inanna her patriarchal identity and Kor, her maidenhood and victim self to reclaim power. This is the very magic of shamanic healing. To enter into the abyss, Release what no longer serves the soul or retrieve a lost aspect of the soul, search for a healing elixir and bring it back to the ordinary world in order to become whole. Going into the darkness to find wisdom and bringing it back into the light. In different cultures, this healing is called by many names, shadow work, subconscious psychology, metamorphosis, alchemy, etc. Primordial feminine dance and worship was another form of shamanic initiation and journeying, through group intoxication and ecstatic connection of dance. In cave paintings and Egyptian burial chambers, we see women in incantation and ecstasy. Erotic dance, menstruation, the red mysteries and sexual alchemy come from the realm of the dark goddess and of the tantric mysteries. This is all the dark feminine's domain where the wild feminine is a gift. Our body is a gift, a vessel and pathway for divine knowledge through and into the world. Oracles or prophecies delivered when the inquirer slept in a sacred site and received an answer in a dream, were believed to come from Thonian powers. In the symbolism and iconography of Thonic deities, snakes are often associated with such deities in world mythology, thus, divinities are often portrayed entwined with serpents. Impressive images of dancing women can be found on ancient Egyptian wall paintings. 
The Egyptians were a religious people who were very oriented towards rebirth of the soul and its afterlife. In world history the ancient Egyptians dealt intensely with death and at the same time lived in a way that affirmed life, love and body. In ancient Egypt, dance played a major role in religious cult and secular festivals. On some forest paintings you can still see dancers in the Egyptian burial chambers and the instruments used for the accompanying music, sistrum, flute, Turkish zil and tabla. The famous dance of Salome or dance of the seven veils is taken from Samaria where high priestesses and priestesses enacted the dance of Inanna descending to meet her dark sister Ereshkigal. The dance has been popularized and erotized but in its original form it is a form of worship. The Sumerians worshipped Venus and the Venusian cycle. They honored the path of Venus and when she rose as the bright morning star and they honored her evening star aspect. Bright Venus represents our life-giving qualities and dark Venus represents our subconscious nature. As Venus followed this path to wholeness, so too did priestesses and oracles of the ancient world. There was shamanic dance in Paleolithic times. Deep Paleolithic caves, we find sacred circles made with stones and in them the traces of human feet that danced around and around. Cave paintings show the shaman dancing in animal skins and antler headdress, the footmarks on the cave floors reveal generations of ritual dancing by all, women, men, children. Dancing to, and with, the spirits of the animals is the most ancient human ceremony that we know. Masked dances, like dancing the maze, were a deliberate means of approach to the bio-mystical animal world, and to the great mother within and beyond all forms. Dancing to a common rhythm, common excitement, members of the group become emotionally supercharged and one. A dancing group can project its entranced emotion into Godhead. Through a tranced and rhythmic opening of psychic channels, it can also interject the Godhead, pulling down transhuman powers, both directions of this process can really occur, simultaneously. The group generates and renews the power, the power generates and renews the group. Why do we need initiation? The supreme feminine wisdom of the dark feminine has not been accepted on a collected level and this is the reason much of feminine consciousness is stagnant and not reaching wholeness and totality. When we become initiated through the dark feminine and all her supreme wisdom and mysteries, we receive access to the deepest parts of ourselves, whether we are lost, broken, confused or abandoned, this initiation leads us on our soul path and our journey home to wholeness. That brings us to the end of today's video all about shamanic mysteries of the dark feminine. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe to Wild Feminine Magic for even more fascinating content, just like this. As always, thanks for watching. See you again soon in the next one.